Good morning. You think we're back in England, didn't you? <laughs> you think, oh my God, where are they? We are in the summer of New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, we looked out this morning and <laughs> we're next to a river. Yeah. Um, and other than the fact that there's mangrove trees there, but <laughs> through, through our windows you can't tell they're mangrove trees, we could have been in the UK. We could have been in Just the look. UK. I mean, the land of the long white clouds. It is. A, a, a big long grey cloud. And this is where we were, so we are almost hit high tide. And I was panicking last night, thinking, oh my god, we're going to get grounded. Oh, there goes our hair. So the water comes probably about another half a foot, I'd say. I reached up to the grass bit here yesterday, and I was oh, a wee bit squeaky around the old bottom. Just here, across the bands there. But it was a very peaceful night's sleep. Very peaceful. The wind, the wind was rocking a little bit, wasn't it? And there was a bit of rain. And we've discovered a couple of leaks in the van, but nothing too serious. Nothing that my man can't fix. That's it. On the whole, all pretty good. And so quiet. I mean, we didn't see a soul. No boat or anything came up and down the river. I didn't hear a car. Didn't anything. Hear a car, nothing. Yeah. It's right. a good little free spot. I'll put this one on the park for night. Right. It's, it's quite windy, so you're probably picking up a lot of wind noise. Yeah. We'll see you. We'll see you later. What? Sand fire. Free. And they charge you God knows how much in the restaurant. Provided you know what you're looking for, of course. Huh? Provided you know what you're looking for. Yeah. Shop it? No, you're right, not at the moment, thanks. Just to prove it's not always me that's driving these sort of roads. Bit crazy. guys oh that's typical i come up to a bit of filming and the wind gets up just want to show you our view first of all such a beautiful place and on pari or on pari something like that it's called i don't know the official way to say it but i will put it down in the um i will put it down in the um vlog Excitement, wouldn't it? <laughs> so the man's putting it back in the water. Octopus are amazing things, they only breed whites. And the mum, she gives up her life for the babies, she fans them all, and when they're born, they eat them. So, yeah. What amazing. Yep, that's back in the water. A bit of excitement, wasn't it? Anyway, so why I've come onto the vlog now is we're two days into our north of the North Island, and the van won't start. We think it's the ignition. There's something wrong with the ignition. It's not not to do the batteries. It's all charged up. I love it. Everything. So we joined the AA. Sensible people that we are, and um, they said they'd be here, here within an hour. Well, we've been waiting about an hour and forty minutes. We are in the middle of nowhere, so, you know, ish. And the baby's decided, because I like it here, 
to um, not start. So, is this van life for the moment over? I don't know. I don't know. Just so frustrated because we waited quite some time for it to get sorted, and here we are again waiting for the van to be put right. So we've put solar panels on it, done a B2B, we've done a inverter, all's good. It's a really nice van, very comfortable to stay in, but it's decided to do the dirty. Kevin's having a lay down, so I think he's a bit over it. So we will keep you informed. Anyway, exciting stuff about the octopus, eh? <sighs> Nothing in life is predictable, is it? Except death and taxes. <laughs> See you later, guys. Looks like the current might be running along the beach. Well, well I went in. Yeah, it hasn't taken her that long. To get down there, so keep an eye on her. You see some of the people, they jump off of the bridge. I think they're so brave. sure what clouds it's coming from but you'll be able to see just up ahead of me there's definitely some weather over there so this is such a beautiful spot they said it was going to be um storming today and clearly it's not <gasps> i'm in the water as you can see the tide is supposed to be coming out and i've just got a little bit wet <laughs> i've just dried off literally now i've got wet clothes. I love it here. I really like it here. It's got a really nice vibe to it. And the water is so clear. Check this out, guys. So you'll be able to see some pictures that we took around about lunchtime. A boat come back in and it had a striped merlin. I mean, Kevin, we're looking and we took pictures because we've never seen anything like that before. But it's kind of sad and all the kids were so curious and then like one kid said did you give thanks to the sea and the man said yeah and he said something in maori to the boy like um i always say thank you and don't worry i'm gonna be eating it because everyone wanted to know if he was gonna eat it and he said it'll feed his family for some time so that made me feel a bit happier um for sure but, love it just love it so nice how are you doing anyway guys hope you had a good Christmas and good new year and you're planning the rest of your lives if not definitely a five week five month five year plan um, I'm still deciding on updating mine at the moment I think it's very much a case of sometimes things change and that's all right, you know? That's all right. So I'm hoping by the time I get back to the van that the AA arrives and we know what's what. So I'm not going to go too, too far because I don't know. Look at the shelf, how much this dips off. Can you see the slump along there? Quite a wave.
so we are quite north of the North Island, but it's not, not as north as we can be. Cape Rainer is the north, the furthest north. And I don't know if you can see it out there, there's waves because there's like a sandbar over there. You're supposed to notify the um, Coast Guard if you are um, going across the sandbar and you do it at your own risk, but the skipper's got to call it in if you go over it. Ooh. Ain't gonna lie, I've been in this twice already today and it was so nice. So nice. But like there's a little insect or something. Should I help rescue it? I think it's a bee. I think he's finding his way. Look at this. Be of some sort. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll sort himself out. Yeah, I think I'm going to walk back now because I'm going to walk back to my 15 minutes away. I just need to know what's going on. Take the down. And we'll let you know what's going on. See you later. Well, the weather changed as you can see, and this is just a zooming in of the sandbar. Didn't film it because Kevin was so unhappy. The guy, after a couple of hours, reached us and the van started. So he couldn't diagnose what the problem was because there was no problem. Annoying. So, this is a local dump station. So you've got rubbish, you've got water, you need to fill up the um, bottles. And then around the other side, we have, oh, I think it was a tui. And that was a minor bird. We have black and grey water waste there, but you cannot park overnight here. But this is literally five minutes away from where that beautiful beach I was talking to earlier on, and there's public toilets there as well. So not bad, eh? And it's free. Well done for North District Council. Muscle beds, very very small, about the size of my fingernail. I'm guessing that's what he's eating. So, after yesterday's fiasco start problems fingers crossed let's have a go today fingers crossed see i've got the magic touch i know it's gonna start i have complete faith <laughs> good, morning. good morning so we moved away from where we were last time uh, there was loads of fishing boats there and everything let's move away from the engine you're not going to hit me otherwise and we drove Oh, I don't know, five miles or so down the road, and um, we parked. This is, let's turn you around, here we go. Behind me here, this is the main Route 12 um, Twin Coast Road, and then it turns off. It comes up here, um, and there's a ferry on the end of that road, which is where we're going today. So, here we go, another ferry. At least this time we know where it goes. 
although we don't know what time it goes or how much it's going to cost us but we think it's going to be 42 dollars or if we low height in the back only 40 dollars oh we made it <laughs> yeah all of like six kilometers up the road yeah so this is the where the ferry goes from no booking just turn up and wait uh you pay on the ferry uh, it's $42. Well, it's $40 for the van, and it includes the driver, which makes it strange. <laughs> I don't understand that concept. You know, turn up, but you've got to pay extra for the people in the, in the vehicle. Um, yeah, and we're now waiting to board. So, first come, first serve, pay it on there. $40 for this, plus $2 for one of us, or for me, because I'm the passenger. Board the ferry. In two kilometers, leave the ferry. consider this just a light van because that's what it was for light vans and um, clearly the passenger well, is invisible <laughs> so yeah um, result yeah. certainly cheaper coming across the ferry than it is driving around um, it's the distance between the between the same point if you drove around you'd add an extra 45 kilometers yeah. um, and um, about an extra half an hour Depending on the traffic. Um, so, yeah, $20 well spent, even $40 would have been well spent, I think. Oh, I do love it. Yeah, it's, it's not really done very costly, it's quite a few countries now, don't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. Yeah, so it's good. I have to say, once you get out of your clothes, people are so much more friendly. Yeah, so like, much more chill. Yeah, and look, anyone to chat to you, which is really nice, it kind of makes the experience that much more, you know, good. So 
for today. My first lick swim of the year. Just wondering whether that was a messy. I think it was a seagull. <laughs> it was a turn. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a turn. Yeah. Which way? <laughs> <laughs> so wish me luck. I've got to go down this big cliff. Okay. Yeah, but Good evening. What am I looking for, do you think? Hmm, what's missing? The van's here. Oh, there he is. Where was you? Oh, he's fiddling with the heater. No, I'm, I'm looking, I'm not fiddling because oh. I haven't got a clue. Anyway, I'm just showing everyone the view we've got. Look, this is really nice. So, we're almost at Cape Bow now. It's not too far away at all. Got ourselves a little dining seat. We've got a dump station just over there. There's no water um, except for to flush the loo in there. Um, Grey waste. And um, I'm doing dinner. So, yeah. we are at the top of the North Island almost. We're going to do that tomorrow. Yeah. But um, I think we're going to do the sand dunes as well. It looks like yeah. we turned off. So we're going to have a look at the sand dunes. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get down them. Um, It'd be interesting because if I remember rightly, the sand dunes are about 100 foot tall, are they? Something like that. Yeah. They're big. They're big. So it'll be quite, I mean, if they are 100 foot, that's the same size as the waves that come into Portugal. Yeah. You know, the biggest waves in the world. Yeah. So it'll be an interesting comparison because you say it's something, you know, waves 100 foot tall, 30 meters, and it doesn't, it don't compute, it really. doesn't compute. And then when you're standing next to something that's that tall, um, but we'll have a look. Yeah. And, uh, as for Cape Rainer, um, we've called it Cape Rainer since we were here last. Um, but if you look at the spelling, it's Rienga. So Cape I'm not Rienga. sure. Yeah, maybe we need to ask um, our daughter-in-law how to pronounce it. Um, oh, yeah. she'll, she'll give us the Maori name, which is something totally different. Yeah, so. but she'll also tell us how to pronounce it uh, yeah. properly. But you can see how busy the roads are. So it's six o'clock in the evening on a Saturday. And we've had two vehicles go by in the probably last half hour. So yeah, I think this, the traffic noise is probably going to keep me up tonight. What about you? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so we was looking at um, the campsites and reviews and everything. Everyone says how bad the mozzies are here and possums. Now possums are not indigenous to New Zealand and they're a real nuisance. They do kill the um, 
kiwi and eat the eggs and stuff so they are trying to get rid of them they're the biggest roadkill you see on the road as well but yeah quite a few people that had camped and said the possums ate all their food hopefully we're not going to have that issue tonight because if they have they're going to have me to contend with <laughs> and probably the gopro stick so i might take the camera off and just whack on a fire come across them i think that's not going to be but in the meantime i've got to go and do din dins it's nearly done we are having ravioli with um, tomato and vegetable um, sauce. Yeah. So, sounds delish. So, we will see you later. Yeah. Night! Good night. <laughs> so, quick update. We were in that car park and we showed you all of that and we said, yeah, that's it, thank you very much, good evening, good night. And a chap pulled up and he said, this is really only day parking, you'd be better off down by the lake, just down the road. And we were like, oh. And it was a bit of a bumpy old road, wasn't it? Um, we lost a few bits. <laughs> well, we didn't quite lose them, they drop on the floor. It was proper bumpy. But now we got here. It's a little bit of paradise. And, um, yeah. Uh, so, we just, as we pulled in, we saw some swans, black swans. It's another species that's, that's uh, native to New Zealand, as far as I know. Um, there's some Canada geese over there, which are sort of worldwide common. And there's some ducks, which I'm yet to identify. Um, we'll put that on the screen or something, and we'll yeah. see it, and we'll put them, put the, put the footage in because I've taken it, took it, taken it on the other camera. Um, but just take a look at this guy. This is this is amazing. And we'll be more tomorrow. Guess who's going in for a swim? Yeah, I'm not sure if we can get access here. It's a bit Willow can get access. Trust me, love. Yeah. When it comes to the water, I'm in it. Yeah, look at that. Thanks for joining us this week. We'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.